Right, well, I'm continuing on now with uh, more of the body work and I've been concentrating on the front shroud. It's generally speaking in pretty good condition, but uh, there's a few little spots here and there that uh, had some little dents that I couldn't get at. Um, as you know, there's down through there, there's a uh, reinforcing piece in underneath the skin, uh, so you can't get in there with a dolly to uh, get behind it but I managed to get it uh, pretty close by putting just a little piece of uh, metal in behind and levering things up along that side it uh, looks pretty pretty bad but it's only a very very thin skim um, of that uh, stainless steel reinforced fiberglass filler and uh, these little areas here there were just tiny little minor uh, dents that were nothing really this one here there was a little bit of a, a dent right in the middle there I was able to get in underneath it with a, a little piece of metal and tap that up got most of that out um, I've cleaned all the all the gutters out now, so they're all uh, pretty much ready for an etch primer. The top bit up here wasn't too bad. It was a bit of a crease down through that area. I managed to get inside and lever that up. And uh, what I actually did was I welded a few little um, <clears throat> washers on there and uh, pulled it up but still you can't get in there with a the dolly due to the uh, front bulkhead but it wasn't too bad we've still got a little bit of a high spot um, <clears throat> just pull this out of the way Still got a little high spot uh, just there. Uh, I've tried to tap that down, but it just uh, seems to be a bit too much metal there, so I'm going to have to destroy that bit of filler and uh, actually shrink that with the oxy. But uh, generally speaking, it's not too bad. These bits along the edge here were quite minor in terms of fill. I was able to get under there and uh, and tap that up where when necessary and uh, so yeah, a little bit more manipulating a little bit more fill uh, there's a little spot here that um, needs a little bit I actually had to put a, a little piece on the uh, the vertical flange there fill that in there's another little spot there um, that'll need filling but generally speaking it's uh, it's all pretty good the bulkhead and the horizontal uh, section there are all in pretty good order uh, as is all the rest of it so I'll continue on and uh, do those other couple of little spots and uh, hopefully we'll be able to get some etch primer on it and then some high build there's a tiny little low spot there uh, which is right under the, on top of that reinforcing bit so I'll have to I'll put a little bit in there and uh, other than that it's all coming along quite okay that's all nice and flat across most of that right we've got a coat of that epoxy on there now it's a 1k epoxy 
uh, primer, sort of an etch primer. Um, it seems to stick pretty well, that stuff. Uh, the other places I've put it, it's uh, hung on pretty well. Uh, certainly highlighted a few little bumps and ripples along this area. I should be able to get the dolly in underneath that, the reinforcings uh, back in that area. So I might be able to hem that up a little bit better than that, but uh, the, uh, the primer certainly highlighted those. And uh, you can see another one there, a little bit low. So uh, I'll have to try and get in under there somehow or another. But the uh, rest of it's not too bad. So we'll soldier on and um, see how we uh, go with some little bit more panel work, hammer and dolly, and, uh, and then we'll see how we go with the eyeball primer. The front of it's really good. It's uh, nothing there to be concerned about. It uh, originally had quite a lot of lead down in that area and uh, right up through there I've taken all that out and hammered it up and put a little bit of that fiberglass in there which seems to have uh, sorted that out. So uh, there we have it. Another little bit done. It's uh, quite difficult doing it in in this garage. I'm going to have to try and find somewhere else to do this painting. It's just so dirty and dusty and uh, it's not only dirty and dusty on everything that's in here but also on the job. So uh, see if I can find somewhere to do it. Um, until then we'll call this a wrap and that's an update for you.